Robert Downey Jr. heaps praise on his Oppenheimer co-star Killian Murphy. Oppenheimer took in a whopping $82.5 million in its opening weekend, a strong number by any standard. But this weekend, it was just good enough for second behind Barbie's massive $162 million debut. The film has also been a critical hit as well, opening with a 94% rating on Rotten Tomatoes, with some hinting that it's an early frontrunner for the Best Picture Oscar. Killian Murphy plays the title character J. Robert Oppenheimer, director of the Los Alamos Laboratory, where he developed the first atomic bomb that was later dropped on both Hiroshima and Nagasaki, Japan, bringing an end to World War II. Robert Downey Jr. plays Louis Strauss, chairman of the Atomic Energy Commission in the film, with the 58-year-old actor opening up to people about Murphy's performance. Robert Downey Jr. said, I have never witnessed a greater sacrifice by a lead actor in my career, adding that he was impressed by his co-star's commitment to the character. Downey Jr. added, Added, he knew it was going to be a behemoth ask when Chris called him, but I think he also had the humility that's required to survive playing a role like this. He continued by giving an example from the set. We'd be like, hey, we got a three-day weekend. Maybe we'll go antiquing in Santa Fe. What are you going to do? To which Murphy would reply, oh, I have to learn 30,000 words of Dutch. Have a nice time. But that's the nature of the ask, Downey admitted. Florence Pugh, who plays Oppenheimer's lover Jean Tadlock, also had nothing but praise for Murphy. She said, Chris had one of the most incredible leads in Killian. He's an actor that I've been watching for quite some time and have been desperate to work with for ages. You'd have to be mad to say no. It was truly one of the best experiences that I had. Pugh continued, working with him was hugely impressive. Every single day, he shows up knowing every single possible way, intonation, inflection of how to bring this character to life. That was hugely impressive to me. There's a reason why he's one of the greats, she said.